Many, many EV groups and lobbyists are currently campaigning the government to scrap VAT on public charging or reduce it to the 5% same as home electric. And I'm going to tell you today why I actually think that is a terrible idea, not just for public opinion, but also for EV drivers. And why I think I've come up with some better metrics to reduce the price of public charging by more than 15%. Now I'm going to come under huge fire for this opinion and before you start having a go at me in the comments, uh, remember it does boost engagement so it's actually to my benefit that you argue with me over this point in the comments. However, I'm going to tell you why I used to think the same as you that the VAT reduction was actually a great idea until I thought of some better metrics that will work way better than reducing the VAT. Now it's very, very important that we understand there has always been two rates of VAT on electric. So for a little history lesson, home electrics has always been 5% electric VAT, and this is where the campaigners thinks it also should be for public charging. For businesses, there are two rates of VAT. There is 5% VAT and the 20% VAT. Now for businesses, were encouraged to use less electricity and for encouragement of that less electricity, if they use less than 12,000 kilowatt hours, they qualify for the D minus program, which reduced their VAT for their business down to 5%. Now, another little history lesson for you. When charging first started here in the UK, there was a couple of networks. Some networks actually charged 20% straight away and some networks charged 5%. Now, both these networks were probably doing what they thought was the best thing possible at the time. Now, we can all agree they're probably all buying more than 12,000 kilowatt hours of electricity. However, that wasn't the reason why HMRC said the VAT had to go up to 20%. The reason why HMRC said it had to go up to 20% is that charging companies are providing a service. And we cannot disagree with that. By buying electricity from a rapid charger, that is a service, that is a distribution cost. Just like buying petrol fuel has 20% VAT on it, I think that public charging should be no different for VAT. And this actually brings me to the main point here, which is we can't just reduce the VAT on public charging just because we as EV owners think we're entitled, and this is a big problem with EV owners being entitled, entitled to a lower VAT rate because we're not. Their services, EVs at the end of the day, need to pay for themselves. They need to cover their own costs and pay for themselves. Just like fuel vehicles pay VAT, electric vehicles need to pay for themselves. Now there's big talk at the moment that there's going to be tax introduced, road tax for unlicensed EVs. And again, I'm going to agree with this. I think that EVs should pay for themselves just like a fuel vehicle. We do get incentives and that's great. However, the reduction of VAT of 15% it's only been started to real be talked about since the price of electricity in the UK more than, you know, trebled in recent months. And the reason it went up wasn't to do with VAT. The reason it went up in value of electricity over here is because of the price of gas went up. And this is where the real problem is. And this is the issue we need to fix if we want long term sustainable cheaper electric vehicle charging. Now there is a few solutions to sort out the reduction of electricity on public charges and three of the reasons that I think will actually really work long term. Now one of the main reasons I don't think the reduction in VAT will help is it will be short lived. It'll be a short government lived incentive which will be undone by the next government or the next budget. But also as soon as the price of electricity goes up, that 15% reduction just disappeared. There's better metrics and long-term fixes that we can do to solve the issue for everyone long-term. Now, everyone's going to love this one solution that I have. And this solution is so obvious, and that is that EV charge companies generate their own electricity. Now, it does get one step better in a second, so I do promise you this in a second. They're going to generate their own electricity. They need to install solar panels. Now, they can have solar farms, which is great. You know, GridSurf do that, and they've proven that they can reduce the cost that their customers pay per kilowatt hour by having their own battery storage and solar farms and feeding into their EV chargers. But the main thing that I'd like to see as an EV owner is a canopy over the EV charger covered in solar panels, keeping me dry so I don't get wet when I'm plugging my car in or tapping my card to start the charge. Why is that not a thing? Why have we not got canopies over 
with solar panels to keep us dry, generating power for those EV chargers. Petrol car owners have canopies over the petrol pumps so they don't get wet. So where are ours? We need some canopies with solar panels. Let me know what you think in the comments. My final solution is actually here in this video about adaptive EV charging tariffs for public chargers.